What's up everyone, this is Anthony with Apex Off-Road. Um, I just wanted to go over something uh, real quick. So a couple weeks ago, um, I removed my anti-theft skid plate and um, I had to take some measurements under my truck and I had to remove the plate and a week later, someone stole my cats. I never put the plate back on, you know, joke's on me. Um, so I parked my truck at my daughter's practice within uh, for about 30 minutes. Within that time frame, people are coming and going. This is broad daylight, 11 a.m. on a Saturday. Um, someone pulls up, cuts my cats off, cuts the O2 sensor wires off, boom, they're gone. They're out of there. Um, so if you do not have an anti-theft skid plate, please get one. You can get it from me. You can get it from a lot of different companies. But um, most importantly, you need one on your truck. This will save you the headache. The headache I am talking about is that people are um, taking uh, or taking their trucks to Toyota and Toyota has these cats on back order for one to three months. You do not want to be that person. Um, rentals are only good for about 30 days and then you're going to have to start paying after that because insurance only pays for one month. Um, with that said, I found some aftermarket Magnaflow um, cats. I just installed them on my truck and they work perfect. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. Um, so, um, they're cheaper and, um, and, um, yeah, they bolt right up. So, um, if you don't want to wait the one to three months, I would consider getting the Magna Flows. I offer them. I sell them. They do have them in stock right now. They are the easiest thing to install. If you can install basic stuff on your truck, you can install some cats. Um, so both sides have three nuts for the cats. Unbolt them from the, the manifolds and then put the gasket in plug them right back up and if they cut your o2 sensor wires you can um uh, replace those as well and um i had to replace the the two rears on mine because they cut them and um very very easy to install the o2 sensors they literally unscrew out of the cats and then they screw right back in and they have a little bitty connector unplug the connector plug the new one in and you're good to go i did the install in less than an hour and um, with some basic, basic tools. You just need like a socket wrench and that's pretty much it. You just need a 9 16 I believe is what it was, um, wrench and, and they're plug and play. So um, keep that in mind if you want to go that route. Insurance sent me the money like that. Within three days I had the money in my account. Um, so and that's with Geico. So insurance pays about four to $6,000 you can do this install for about $2,500 to $3,000, and that's including a brand new aftermarket exhaust system. So if you wanna do like a Flowmaster bolt-on kit or something, you can do that. The cats themselves are like $1,500 to $2,000 for just the cats. And then the sensors were about 180 each. I needed two of them. Um, and then whatever system you go with, they're about five to you know $1,500 for an exhaust system. So. Um, you could get a nice uh, Flowmaster kit for like, you know, 800 bucks or something. So, I, I offer Flowmaster, Borla, um, Magnaflow. I offer all the brands. So, um, if you're interested in something like that, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, I hope this helps uh, some people because Toyota taking this long to produce cats for our truck is is it's crazy. But that's just COVID, you know. That's post COVID stuff. So. Um, these, these rats are out in full force. So if you do not have a plate, get one because I'm, I'm selling these plates left and right. I had someone who had their cat stolen. Uh, they got their truck back after having it fixed. Someone stole them again twice. So, um, the guy, uh, ha he's fighting with insurance right now. Cause insurance is like, well, we already paid you for one and they cut him again. Like something a little sus. So Keep that in mind um, if you do get your cats um, stolen to put that skid plate in there because you are going to need it. So I just want to get on here real quick, go over some options, but there is an option. And I'm going to do a how-to video uh, on how to swap out the cats. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that. But I just want to get on here and tell you guys there is an option. You can use Magnaflow cats. They bolt in just like OEM and whatever exhaust system you want to go with, cat back system, you can do that. Plug and play, easy to do, um, and any, anyone can do it with some basic tools. Like I said, you don't need anything fancy. I used a, uh, an extension with a socket, 
I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a 9 16 and they unscrew them. They're a little tough to get them off, but I used an impact and um, knocked them off easy. Um, what I did is I soaked them with um, PB, PB Blaster like a few days before and then just keep soaking them um, overnight so they come off easy if you live, you know, next to the, um, you know, the, um, the, to the beach or where there's salt water or, you know, a lot of snow and ice. Um, you definitely want to lubricate those nuts because those can be, you know, seized on there. So that's the only, only difference, but you have nothing to lose. What I would do if I were you get the, uh, don't order anything, take the, make sure you could get the, um, the, uh, where they cut them off. So see, see if you get that piece off first, if you, if you get that piece off, then you're done. You order the cats, bolt them on, plug the sensors in and you're done. Um, but if you can't get those off, then you can be like, okay, I couldn't get those off and, so I may as well just take take it to a shop. But please try yourself. Pocket some money from insurance. Um, you pay a lot of money for insurance, and you're doing it yourself, so you're going to pay yourself. Um, you know, a little uh, install labor. So uh, the way I see it, so you can pocket you know about a grand. So uh, for other mods. So uh, thank you later for that. But uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll get to them as fast as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Again, my name is Anthony with Apex Off Road. And I uh, will catch you guys next time.